Hello everyone, this is your boy once again, Lanry Anila. I'm here at the Regents Park. This afternoon, I have a, a guest from the Netherlands. Her name is Lisa, and um, she's got an inspiring story to share with us on this um, Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers and um, Tell us where you are in the Netherlands. Well, thank you, Lanley. My name is Nalmas Lisa. I come from Uganda and I'm currently living in the Netherlands, in a city called Den Hilda. I fled from my country due to fear of persecution because of my sexuality. Lisa, my question is, um, as a lesbian uh, and from Uganda, what's your experience like in Uganda? Uh, my experience as a lesbian in Uganda was horrible uh, just because I was living under a cocoon uh, due to fear of the stigma of my friends uh, from church, family members, yeah, and uh, students that I used to go to school with, so I could not express myself. So I kept on living uh, with a secret, a burden. Thank you very much, uh, Lisa. <clears throat> we are really delighted to have you on our, on our program. For the benefit of our listeners and viewers, can you please tell us um, what's your experience like uh, in the Netherlands? Coming to the Netherlands uh, was not an easy experience at first because I didn't know anyone here, but I do not regret uh, taking that step to come here. Uh, because I've met a lot of people in the LGBT community uh, that have been so friendly and have been empowered uh, because I've got to learn more about my sexuality and also uh, being empowered to be proud of who I am. Thank you, Lisa. This year, the coronavirus pandemic lockdown has really been challenging. Here in the UK, a uh, lot of um, African LGBT have shared their experiences with us. Some so good, some not so good. Uh, can you tell us what has been your experience like during this coronavirus pandemic? Uh, the restrictions on social gatherings uh, because of the corona pandemic has uh, affected me so much, uh, especially at first, uh, because I could not make uh, physical contact with people. But still, uh, because the LGBT community, people are so friendly, I've been having regular checkups, yeah, and, and also having other social meetings via Zoom and yeah, quizzes via Zoom connection. So it has kept me going, and now that the bands are being lifted uh, slowly, the situation is coming back to normal. Yeah, and my life is more lively than before. Thank you, Lisa. I can see you are putting on the Art and Proud African LGBT t-shirt. What does the word we exist really means to you? Oh, this word we exist, it means a lot to me. Uh, because me as a person before coming here, I could not proudly say that I'm a lesbian. But ever since I came and joined Out and Proud, I believe I exist, and indeed I exist, and I'm proud of my identity as a lesbian. On this channel, we have uh, lots of um, Uganda followers, subscriber, subscribers, and uh, viewers. And the good thing is, you're from Uganda. Can you give a message to Ugandan in Europe, both in Netherlands and the United Kingdom? and back home in Africa in your local language. Mwaka mwempeleza ba na Uganda, mutuli bantu, na wanku wade tuizo kufanga, tuwa wukana mwe ngeli yobawa bantu betuwa gala, na etuli bantu, tetuli na wuzibu wona ili mwotuye na, ila bantu, nsawaba chikilize, bata niko kwa gala buli mwotuye na, kufanga tetuli na wuzibu wona wetusabula tu usako mwotuye, ili wagamba mbo watu liko mizimu, watu libi sila anye, chosu chitofa. Thank you once again, Lisa. What message would you like to share with our viewers, both home and here in Europe? 
proud and proud African Edutai for welcoming me to be part of uh, your family and also other organizations in the Netherlands that have given me social support and also emotional support uh, during this time that I've spent in the Netherlands. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much.